Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet and I am here makeup free eek, to show you how I do my base makeup. Now I've been doing a lot of makeup tutorials lately and I kind of feel like I do my base makeup the same way every time so why show you the same thing over and over and over again? I might as well just do a separate video where I show you how I do my base makeup the majority of the time and then I'll just do all my other makeup tutorials just starting from after my face is on. I always start with my face has been freshly washed and I have a light moisturizer and some moisturizer sunscreen on my face. I have a little bit of eye cream and then I have uh, lip balm. I tend to load my lips with lip balm. I use Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. I put it on pretty heavy on my lips when I start my makeup so then when it's time for me to do my lipstick I can just sort of blot it off and my lips are nice and moisturized. I actually just started using, I was searching for a primer and so far I am in love with this one. This is actually Clinique Super Primer Universal Face Primer and it kind of looks like a moisturizer. It's sort of a white cream. And I just sort of dab it around my face and then I just kind of rub it on. I'm very hands-on with my makeup. I'm getting more into tools. Now I'm trying to use more makeup tools but to be honest like I think your fingers are your best makeup tool. I use a foundation. It's Clinique Super Balanced Makeup. Mine isn't fair. I just put some on my hands and I just kind of dab it on my face, just kind of all over. Just some dabs here and there. And I've actually just started using, what I used to do is just sort of rub it on my face with my hands and blot. But what I started using, because I've been hearing so many good things about it, is the Beauty Blender. Um, I just wet this a little bit and I, I always hated foundation sponges, but for some reason this one tends to work really well. And I just kind of dab on, and the great thing about it is because it's this weird shape, you can actually kind of get in the creases of your face. And I think it just gives you a really nice finish. So you blend in really well. You want to get, you don't want to have any lines, discoloration. Don't forget your jawline and your neck. The next thing I do is take my concealer. Now my favorite concealer is a little pricey, I will admit, but I do, I do love it. It's YSL, and I'm not gonna know how to pronounce this, anti sereness I have no clue. I kind of put it on my eyelid, kind of like the inner corner of my eyes, and dab it. It can actually act as a nice base for your eye makeup. And I kind of just dab it. You don't want to pull on your eye. You never want to pull outward on your eye because that actually can increase wrinkles and, you know, speed up aging. So you just kind of want to dab it. And I just use it right on the inner corner and on my eyelid. The rest of the concealer really just depends on um, how your skin is that day. So I pretty much just go around and anywhere I have, you know, maybe a blemish or a dark spot or any discoloration on my skin, I just kind of dab on and then I just kind of gently tap. Because you don't want to wipe because then you're going to wipe off the concealer. But you want it to blend. Now to highlight under my eyes, to give a nice brightness, I use, again, YSL Touch Eclat, Eclate. I, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce these things. I think this is French. I would love to not just be French. I don't. This is actually Radiant Touch. This is the lightest shade, although it comes in a bunch of different shades now. And then what I do is I actually just learned this recently. I did a makeup workshop with um, Cherry Dollface, and she talked about what she calls the Kim Kardashian V, which may not be the Kim Kardashian V that some people think of, and that's probably not how she got famous, but this is what she's known for now. It's basically you make kind of a V under your eye. And then I just kind of, I just sort of dab it. I mean, you don't want to go too heavy. And then you just want to very gently dab. The skin under your eyes is very, very sensitive. And I'm actually, I'm not flipping you off if that's what any of you are thinking. I apologize. But honestly, your middle finger is actually one of your more delicate fingers, ironically. Um, so I'm not flipping you the bird. I am actually using this because it actually is a much gentler touch. What I definitely like to do next is I like to take, I actually use this eyeshadow brush. It's kind of a wide sort of fan um, eyeshadow brush and I dab it with a little, my favorite, I use loose powder. I love it. It feels to me very boudoir, 
old Hollywood um, and I just like the way it reacts to my skin the best. This is actually Clinique uh, Blended Face Powder in Invisible Blend. So it's kind of like a translucent powder. And I basically just put a little bit on an eyeshadow brush and I go gently around my eyes because I find that area can easily kind of get powder that cakes on and stuff and I just find this delicate little brush. It's actually a recent thing that I've discovered. This delicate little brush just you definitely want to do this before you put on your makeup. It just kind of, it gives your face a really nice, your eyeshadow, you know, any of your eye makeup, a really nice base. Keeps it from, you know, slipping and sliding around. And you don't want to go too heavy on the powder around your eyes because it can settle in the creases. Um, and that'll actually make you look older. So you just want to have a very light touch, which is why I like this very sort of light, wispy eyeshadow brush to give you more control. And then this is <laughs> the next thing that I do, which to me is very old Hollywood. I don't actually use a powder puff, but I have this like big brush. And I actually, I dip it in my face powder. And this is actually really messy, which is why I'm actually just wearing like my workout sweatshirt. And I usually, when I do my makeup, I have like a bathrobe on or something. I, I put a little bit of powder on the brush and I just kind of brush it all over. And there we go, that is my base makeup. I think of it like Spanx for your face. Like it smooths everything out, it just makes everything really even and pretty, and then it's a good foundation for the rest of your makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube page and be sure to check out everydaystylet.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time.